It's Friendsgiving Day! I'm so excited! I'm getting ready to run back to the store um, just to get a couple things for one to get the chicken um, but I'm gonna go ahead and make the rub I just always enjoy doing that so we have a recipe I'm gonna link it down below because I'm sure you could you know bake this in the oven as well but of course Darren's gonna smoke it um so anyway I'm just gonna kind of make up our own so we like to do um I like to add brown sugar to most of our rubs just for that sweetness it makes it really good especially when you're smoking it. We are gonna do two chickens and I'm just gonna take one that way they'll have some dinner. So just for fun, I really like the maple barbecue rub. I have a little bit left of that. So I'm just gonna add some of that in. It has a lot of the stuff that I'm adding in anyway, but it's just really good. So we're also gonna add some garlic powder. Should do the other side. Pretty good little bit. Also going to add some minced onion and we're going to add a little bit of salt. I'm going to add Himalayan pink salt and then just a little bit more paprika. About two tablespoons. And then, let's stir that all up. I'll need to add pepper. I've never done Friendsgiving before, but I always wanted to. So, that's what we're doing today. I'm so excited. Sorry to have mulch in my shoe from the fall festival last night. Anyway, I'm heading back to the store because seriously, tell me, does anyone else do this? It does not feel like Thanksgiving, Friendsgiving, whatever, unless you make a last minute trip to the store. So that's what I'm doing right now. I go get a few more things like mainly our chicken I could not decide if we were gonna do turkey chicken or what because y'all normally my stepdad is in charge of our chicken like for our family Thanksgiving dinner even though we host they do uh, not the chicken the turkey um, he always does that so I totally forgot that I need to buy like even turkey breast which is what we were gonna smoke ahead of time so they can thaw out and we can brine them totally forgot totally slipped my mind so um i think we're just gonna do a smoked chicken um because that's really good anyway everybody likes that and then i think i'm gonna try a ham and so anyway i'm headed to the store i just need to get a chicken i'm actually gonna get two chickens so that way darren and the girls they can go ahead and eat um a ham i'm gonna get some more eggs i didn't get those yesterday celery and then i'm gonna go by mcdonald's and grab probably just like a half gallon maybe two half gallons of sweet tea i say two half gallons because i don't think they sell like an actual gallon i know super weird anyway and i might grab like a coke or something just to take so let's head to the store and then i think when i get back i'm gonna start putting together some of the um sweet potato casserole and stuff like that I can't decide if I want to get ready now or wait till later to time to get ready. I hate getting ready, so it's like a big deal. Anyway, let's just go to the store, get our stuff, and get back. All right, we're at Mickey D's. I'm waiting on the sweet teas. Um, my family would not answer the phone when I was calling to see what they wanted for lunch, so I literally got a big bag of cheeseburgers, a 20-piece nugget, and two large fries. So this is going to be lunch for this Friendsgiving day. I'm so excited. I'm listening to Christmas music while I wait. It's cold outside, but I gotta go home and get busy. So let's get the sweet tea and let's head home. So Darren has one chicken on this grill. It's only a rotisserie. That smells delicious. And then he has another chicken on the front porch because it may rain. So he started them out here. This one is a beer can chicken. Oh my goodness, looks really good. So we'll see which one I take. This smells delicious. 
Okay, so I'm starting on my deviled eggs and my cranberry sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and do those. I had one egg that was cracked, so I'm grabbing another one out of another carton. And I'm really excited because last year I found this cute deviled egg platter at Belk's on clearance, and I'm so excited to finally use it. So making a few more eggs than I would probably need, but that's okay. So for my deviled eggs, they're really simple. All I do is bring them up to a bowl. Obviously, I boil them for 12 minutes. I do not like for my eggs to have the ring at all. Um, so I want to be perfectly golden yellow yolks when they're done. So 12 minutes, and then I will get some ice and pour it into here. Let that soak for five or ten minutes and then I peel them and I'll show you guys you know everything else but while that's going I'm gonna start my cranberry sauce and if you guys have never tried homemade cranberry sauce you are missing out it is so delicious and so freaking easy all you do is put everything in the pot and just kind of ignore it and it's fine so I'm gonna go ahead and have these two working and then I'm also going to put my sweet potatoes in the oven to have those cooked for the sweet potato casserole. So that's kind of what I'm working on right now. So Darren pulled one chicken off. This was the beer can chicken. We're pretty sure it's done. He's just making sure with the thermometer. Okay, cranberry sauce is one of my new favorite things to make. I've been making it for a couple years now. It is just so easy and it smells better than any holiday candle you could find. So I just rinse off an entire bag of cranberries. I put them into a pot on the stove. You're gonna add sugar, a little bit of water, and then you'll add cinnamon, allspice, ground ginger, and cloves. And that is it. All you do is let it simmer for about 30 minutes and it will naturally kind of just thicken up on its own. You just keep coming back and giving it a stir every five or 10 minutes. I keep coming back to the camera and showing you guys how it kind of thickens up by itself. The little berries will start to kind of burst open and it's just heavenly. It's so good, it smells delicious. I love making this. It just feels like the holidays when I'm making cranberry sauce. So I really hope that you guys will give this one a try. And if you do, or any of these recipes for that matter, I hope that you will tag me in them. I would love to see them and I would love to share them. So once it starts sticking to the sides of the pot, I know it's done. It'll also thicken up a little bit as it cools. Okay, so now to work on the deviled eggs. Y'all, my deviled eggs are super basic. That's just kind of how we like them. All I do is mash the yolks up with a fork and I add in mayonnaise until I get the consistency that I want, you know, the creaminess that I want. And all I really add is salt and pepper. Sometimes I'll add in a tiny bit of mustard just to give it a little something, but I don't like any weird flavors in my deviled eggs. I don't know, I'm super weird about that. You guys have to let me know how you make your deviled eggs. So anyway, I was mostly just excited about using this cute little tray, so I just piped my deviled eggs with a baggie with a hole cut in it, and we were good to go. Okay, next up we're gonna make some traditional southern style dressing. So I'm just chopping up some celery and onions, super, super fine. You wanna cut these in tiny little pieces. I did about a half a cup of each because some people aren't big on veggies, so I just wanted to add a little bit of that flavor, but not too much. So I'm just gonna add those into a big bowl with some cooked grits. That's where the kind of southern part comes in. So you're just gonna add in some cooked grits and also that celery and onion. Next, you're actually gonna add in two boxes of stovetop dressing, stuffing, whatever you wanna call it. You're gonna add in one of the savory herb kind and one of the cornbread kind. You can, of course, use your own bread, but this just makes it super easy and it's delicious, so why not? added a little bit of salt and pepper also added in some sage next i'm going to add in some eggs some chicken broth or chicken stock a little bit of melted butter and that's it you just mix it all up together and then you'll add it into your 9 by 13 pan 
and you'll just bake this according to the minutes down below because I can't remember right off the top of my head. So I'll have all the links there or the recipes typed out below. Don't worry, just look down there. And y'all, side note, this Pioneer Woman dish broke. I've had so many Pioneer Woman dishes break, I do not recommend buying them. Even though they're so cute, and I hate to say it, I love her stuff, but they're just not good quality. So anyway, I'm gonna pop this into the oven and it'll be nice and delicious. Okay, just giving a peek at the rotisserie chicken again. Oh my goodness, my mouth is watering looking at this. Again, it was so good. This is actually the one that I ended up taking over to our dinner. He had some wood chips in there to give it that smoky flavor. This was so good and everybody loved it. Okay, speaking of Pioneer Woman, we're actually gonna make her sweet potato casserole. She calls them soul sweet taters. I've been making them for a few years now and you cannot beat this recipe. So I just bake my sweet potatoes in the oven until they get nice and soft. Makes them super easy just to pop out of the skin. Then you just add some sugar, some white sugar, some brown sugar, some milk, some egg, some vanilla, and you just mash this up. I just use one of my potato mashers just to mash everything together, make it nice and creamy. And then once you get that all mixed, you just set this bowl to the side and we're gonna make this amazing, delicious kind of pecan streusel topping. So in a separate bowl, you're just gonna mash together some butter, flour, a little bit more brown sugar, and then I add in some pecans at the end. And I'm just kind of cutting this all up with a pastry cutter. If you don't have a pastry cutter, I just recommend cutting up the butter really small beforehand and then just kind of stirring it all up together. So once you have that done, you just pour your sweet potato mixture into your baking dish. You add that topping and then you will bake that. And oh my goodness, this is so good. Once again, one of my favorite things about Thanksgiving. there at 4 it's 4 23 and I'm just not leaving my house good thing I only live like literally 10 houses down from Jessica so I'm headed there now I got the car loaded down and yeah let's go hang out with some cool peeps and eat a lot of food so this is what friends getting with youtubers look like <laughs> <laughs> and y'all okay this is the only five people eating this right really by the way <laughs> Have you never been on camera? There's four cameras. It's okay, it's okay. Production, production's gonna go. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Go. So this is her little hostess gift for having all of us over to her house. You know the way. Whoop, whoop. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you guys are so sweet. Oh, thank you. That's cute. Mm, it smells good. Oh, this is so cool. So on theme. Yeah, girl. Oh my goodness. Love it. Thank so cute. Okay, thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is, isn't that good? Never ending. So cute. Thank you. Oh my you. gosh, so You're cute. Welcome. Thanks oh, for having us. The best. Okay, so I was so excited just to be here and hang out with these ladies. I did not do the best job of videoing all the food, but. Really quickly, I wanted to show you guys everything. We had so much. We, of course, had all these appetizers. Jessica made the cutest little charcuterie board. It's a jack-o'-lantern. She made some delicious cheese balls. We had the cutest little Friendsgiving plates and little napkins. There is the ham and the chicken. We had mashed potatoes, gravy, rolls. The dressing over there, the cranberry sauce, really yummy mac and cheese Lauren made, green bean casserole from Mandy. We had this cheesy corn from Amber, and I will link all their channels below to go get their recipes. So of course, Jessica had her dining room and her dining table all beautiful and set up for us. It was so nice. She has the most gorgeous house, so I just felt like giving y'all a little peek at it, but I'm sure most of y'all have already seen it anyway. We had the best time. We just sat at the table talking for, seem, for what seemed like a good little while. And then after dinner, we moved into her living room. She made us all some coffee. It was just the most 
cozy, like heartwarming, just like bonding time between all of us. I'm so thankful to know all these ladies. And then as you know, Mackenzie, she's one of our good friends as well. Unfortunately, she got sick and she could not join us. So it was kind of funny. We were all like talking to her on Marco Polo and we were all filming her. So I'm sure she'll be on all of our videos. But like I said, after dinner, we all just kind of sat around and talked, ate dessert, had coffee. It was seriously the best time, and I truly am so thankful for all of these girls. So I just got home. I'm a little bit wet from loading things in and out of the car because it's pouring down rain outside. But we had such a fun time. I hope that you guys enjoyed um, kind of hanging out with us and doing some Thanksgiving cooking. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead in the vlog here. I am gonna go run myself a warm bath and just relax, get into my PJs, maybe put on a Hallmark movie, and just relax. So anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.